Hey there, everyone, this is Rao playing uh, VLDC9. Hopefully today we can have more than one bit level in the video. Guess we'll find out, there's yellow levels here. Ice Cave Athletic by Kenny, 42nd place, most important place. Check out, wow, those two agreed. <laughs> Actually, all the scores are very agreed agreed. We got Cherno's song music, a popular ice time pastime. And it's rare to see, like, actual, actual vanilla, like, palettes going, oh, wow, it's easier. Things to hang are green switches. Switch your shoes, then you can slide in here and be fine. Get yourself some coins, and then a yellow pipe. And venture forth into big circle nine. And it's just as old internet-wise as the song can be. It's still incredibly catchy. Check it out, that's how you got this dagger drawn. I don't understand what is going on here, but I survived. There, there, buddy, what are you doing in the sky? It's not the sky, it's just a high ceiling. There's a difference. So this is a mostly, whoa, yeah. It's a very athletic level, and that can happen. That's a pretty harsh jump. In appearances than what it is for- This is a hard jump, though! This part here... It's pretty darn gosh tricky, because I'm trying to run as fast as I can, but my big head hits the wall. Do I need to slide underneath the overhang? Like, I get the feeling you need to be big there to be able to, like... Uh, spin jump through the yellow blocks and possibly get like the second dragon coin or something. Like, it just seems so... telegraphed. But a part of me is considering like taking a hit on purpose, but then I'd still need to figure this one out eventually anyways, but... Yeah! There we go! Yeah, well I was correct about there being a dragon coin there. Yo! Okay! Can't see the platform, now I can see it. How do I get that platform from here? Right? <laughs> you can tell by how loud I was boasting about things there that I had everything under control. Man, this level is all about creating crazy situations for dragon coins, isn't it? That is pretty rad. Hey, buddy. How you feel about being a coin yourself, I think that would be pretty great. I got a middle point right there in the middle point. Got an evil lie embedded in the wall, but it was just like a hole. But I like to interpret, cause my human brain says see faces everywhere. I mean, I wonder how I got that one. Oh, I see. The challenge is that, <laughs> cause what you need to do is you need to like and then like jump. But yeah, you need to like jump, but hit like the top of the wall on the right way up there. So it's just some extremely precise placement. Uh, if I had not fallen the hole there, like it, it was easy mode to do it post see like that basically. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yo. There's a lot of confidence in that move. Alright, one of these is gonna have a power-up. Probably it's gonna be the annoying one. Hell yeah! There's a little dip where you can sit around. Have a coffee and some molten browns. I don't know, that's like... It's, it's, it's pudding. But bad! That's why they don't call it pudding. Man, I missed it twice. Wonder what's inside. Wah! Oh! Screams at nothing. Oh, yeah, that make, don't make sense. Wow, this place! <laughs> uh, okay, so you gotta do go up here, then from there you gotta go here. From there you're like, huh? Then you go... Snapples and pie! Doesn't go all that great together. Also, remember it's all ice physics everywhere. The snow, in case you didn't realize that, considering the palette, the music, the representation, 
the the atmosphere, the name of the level, the fact that Mario's feet are slip slippering away. And uh, this was really neat, but man, it was pretty hard. I thought it was really neat. Thank you so much for me. Ice Cave Athletics, an ice cave crossing above this frozen river. That fish, still pretty excited about it all. Death Water by a hick! 44th place, they're kind of around the same area. Ooh, this is very different ice. Same total, well, very similar total though. And Ninja Boy did not like this one at all. Uh, Eternity liked a lot more. Let's go! Bowser's stash gonna be out by anyone from below. Don't know what that means, but okay, let's go! I don't know what I'm seeing. I guess I'm gonna be returning at some point going here. There's something really wacky going on with the background, but I, you know, if you don't understand, it's just... Okay, there's no ice physics here. But I'm a pretty dumb guy! <laughs> it all balances out. Yeah, no ice physics. That's an interesting choice. Boink. Okay, can we go up there? So you can activate the statues, so I'm assuming you use a spin jump to get up there then. Which, you know, makes sense. But what's over here then? Absolutely nothing you can do. <laughs> so, that's vanilla. <laughs> oh, what? Come on, man. Don't be a jerk. Ah, come on, man. Don't be a jerk, you two, either. Lexily made. So yes, then you got a little fireball, and then you got a little bit of butterballs. Yo! There we go. That pipe, apparently doesn't, like, you can't go through, but you can't go in this tiny pipe. You end up in an alternate universe where Alice in Wonderland was actually a critic of the Prussian Wars. No one understands why, but that's okay. Welcome to the world of eternity. That guy's just gonna fall in that hole again like a... Like a big dumbo. Think, no, you're supposed to go up... Up the rope. Oh, cow, this is not difficult. Wonders of technology. World of technology. In hasher bashery. Hasher dash bash? Hash dash baster bash. It's a monster mash, as they say in colleges. Dude, dude. Oh, and take it easier. No, that's that's not how it works. Brain, stop assuming things. That make no sense. I would appreciate that a lot. I don't want to turn that guy on. I don't know. I can go up here now and check out the thingy thing here now. I can totally do that jump, and then that Miss Mace will go to hell now. Wow, that was a little bit close. Okay, so, man, the music was just starting to get going. Like, dude, I need, like, a thumb, a thumb thing. Oh, you mean him? Finally, took a time there, little statue man. Still gonna breathe, but I'm screwed. I don't know how you're a lot- oh, what am I doing? Yeah, it's like one hop. One flame. <sighs> One sad, sad Rao cow. to a death and now he died then a little booger man just walks around and I'm all like hey man it's a bogo ball no what's up with that coin and then all the swing of things just goes boing pretty cool scientific progress goes boing what's with this should I just like clear it away ahead of time I'm noticing a pot of I just want to see what's over here like is this where progress lies or is it up in the sky? Let's just look around. For fun. Well, here we got an actual power up. So, you know what? That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Alright, scientific goes hop. Yo, friendliness. Alright. 
So here there's a potable and he's all alone. Does this make platforms or something? It sure does. <laughs> this looks scary, but can be done with just a jump too. Like, I, my first instinct was like, oh no! No, the potable jump. No, don't assume that when you can just do the jump normally. Like, oh cow, you know the length of a Mario jump. Of all people around here. Uh, okay. Is there anything hidden by any of Like, why is there a zillion blocks here? That's kind of weird. Why did I do that? I'm not sure. Something up there. There's not really any way to go anywhere here. Probably you want to... This, this little fella... Hit lots of... Okay. That could have gone places. Does that just... Okay. No, fine. Man. 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 Okay. Is this the I can go into? No. Uh, slightly blind jump there by my fault on the net. Because I took the coin that was there. Tell me about the future of mankind. Anything here that's fun and fantastic and filled with nutrition? It doesn't look like it. Is this a pipe I can go into? It certainly is, but I don't know if I want to go into. Yeesh! No, I should not have done that. I should have gone the coin first, because now if I die. That's it. Case closed. Mission adjourned. But I can use this trampolini to go here, which normally you would need the magic of Blue Nose Esteban. Wait, you send me out back here? Where I just get hit like an idiot? Okay, you need a springboard here. I am slightly consumed by fear. So I might want to get the springboard somewhere. Uh and what do you do, Mr. Door? You're reset. Maybe Man, I don't know. Cause I got here but I needed the springboard. I don't know if like I'm supposed to carry two springboards for some reason somehow. Let's hope not. Hey, disco. I'm afraid of death. Ooh. Well, using this... Like, I, I guess you're expected to... Wait, how do you... Okay, that guy just falls. Oh! So that's the challenge. And then here you can fly up there, but... You gotta do... That spin jump, like, there's not yet any blocks or anything. So you gotta do a very well time. That guy's gonna turn. And he killed me. I knew it! Now I'm kinda mad. Then you end up here though. No, so I will need to redo it, it looks like. No, I could have just returned in the pipe. That was my fault. That was my I forgot that the pipe was this little optional area. Well, okay. I'm learning more about the level, so it's okay. So, this is legit pretty hard. You gotta get right up there. Then here, you can fly. You can fly. Go in Mr. The Blue. Blue the Bloom Zone. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure, like, you need to be able to fly to be able to get here, so. I'm not sure how that's a relevant obstacle. I guess if you get hit by any of the surprises here. That's cool. That makes sense. Another one? No? Alright. Alright. <laughs> this is another pretty rad level. I'm just mad at myself for, you know, not going back to the pipe to get uh, the fourth coin. But that just has nothing to do with the level. It's just me. It's just me. If you don't go after all the dragon coins, it goes significantly faster. Uh, yeah, there's a mushroom here. But wait, I don't want the dragon coin, so I don't need to get that one. I can just do this normally. Yeah, this... 
This level is significantly easier if you're not concerned about dragon coins. I'll... I'm, I'm happy about that. That means I can just return to do my, my own thing there. Okay. What? You can destroy these with blocks? I don't know, it depends on several sprite-related magic factors. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It's not something you can rely upon. Yo, Tuna. Then you go here. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I mean, the slime mix it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is an interesting level. It's also interesting because, like, if you got certain switches, the level gets significantly easier in multiple places. So I don't know, there's something really interesting being done by a level called Deathwater. Nice puzzles, really open gameplay, and like a lot of the harder stuff is purely optional. It's like win-win, win-win-win. That's five wins in a row. It's hard to do better than that.